What? No, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. It's not like them deciding to, you know, open the tavern and ignore everything else I had planned didn't r ruined my fucking idea or anything. Okay, in all seriousness, that open was a joke. There is no such thing as a ruined D&D campaign, at least in the long term. Your short term plans, however, can most definitely be screwed with. Hello, welcome back to Tabletop Tales, the D&D series I do semi-regularly on this channel, which is about stuff that has happened to me whilst playing Dungeons and Dragons, either as a player or as a DM. In this case, it is as a DM for the game Waterdeep Dragon Heist. All right, now full disclosure, I had not DM'd in a solid year or so, and so when the game started off, it was fairly clunky, and I will admit that. I'm not gonna get too much into details, but the party which consisted of the half-elf rogue, the elven sorcerer, the warforged artificer, the half-orc barbarian, and the fear bulg cleric all started at the yawning portal as you do in Waterdeep Dragon Heist. You know, helped solve the thing, got hired by Volo, helped solve that whole mess, got back, and as opposed to getting paid the amount that they had initially agreed upon, they were given the deed to a tavern. Now, in Waterdeep, you are given the option to either rebuild the tavern and, you know, reopen it and start running it yourself, or you can evict the ghost resident that is there, you know, kill them, get them the fuck out, and just use it as a base of operations. My players decided that they wanted to make the tavern a tavern again. Now, there is nothing inherently wrong with this. In fact, I actually love the fact that they decided to make a tavern because the group that I had initially played with and initially DM'd for probably would have just burned the entire thing to the ground in an effort to get rid of the ghost and an attempt to collect on non-existent insurance money. Because murder hobos. This group, however, decided to open a new tavern under the name of the Phantom Ale. Great concept and all, except that was all that they wanted to do. They did not care about the rest of the stuff happening in the campaign. They only cared about opening the tavern and running it with the epic cool poltergeist dude. I wish I was joking about this. I'm not. So, despite the fact that I, you know, exploded a person right outside of their residence, sent them to the place of the, like, where the person was being held, captured the person, and sent them after cultists, they ignored pretty much all of that. Now, they did go to the house, they did get the stuff that they needed to to figure out what was going on, and making their way through the story to get to the gold at the end, which was the ultimate goal. However, they managed to just skip the final boss because they killed the couriers of the magical artifact that was going to get the magical artifact to the final boss. So all of my plans went out of the window in about five seconds after that. I did manage to fuck with them for a little bit by having the stone mess with them <laughs> until they threatened to destroy the stone, which they didn't know what was happening. Technically speaking, I think if they destroyed the stone, it would have just vaulted the Abolus soul back into the realm. However, because I am a bit of a dick, as a DM sometimes. If they had destroyed it, I might have just summoned the goddamn Aboleth in the middle of fucking Waterdeep. Yeah, would have loved to see him handle that. Uh, the party eventually did manage to find the half million gold and just straight up convinced the Guardian to let them have it because I somehow had the most persuasive fucking players in the entire planet. I am not kidding about that when I say the most persuasive player. For perspective here, I think they fought four times in that entire campaign. Four. A couple of Kenku that they killed early on, a half-orc wizard that they just straight up massacred round one, the mafia, and then there was that Nimble Ride. Yeah, four things. There were four things that they killed. Everything else, they either captured alive or they managed to just talk their way out of it. Now on the bright side, all of our characters are still alive and I still have all their character stuff in a uh, campaign that I may or may not eventually come back to with these characters. One of our other friends is actually DMing for a group right now. So any new stories in the future will potentially be from the perspective of me as a player. But yeah, honestly, I actually kind of liked what happened with 
the Dragon Heist group. I like the fact that they came up with different ideas and didn't just kill everything to get what they wanted. Past groups that I've played with have been very, very murder hobo heavy, where they just killed everything in their path and didn't really care about the goddamn consequences. This time, I kind of like the fact that they, for the most part, talked their way out of situations and they didn't just resort to stabbing everything when they didn't get their way immediately. But yeah, that's the story about how my players managed to derail my entire campaign by deciding that they were going to open a tavern and that being their end goal, along with not killing anything. Though that's the, the not killing anything is not really the derailing part. The derailing part is the fact that their main goal became open the tavern instead of get the half million gold hey guys i hope that you enjoyed that video yeah this is just a fairly recent story that happened to me whilst playing i had a lot of fun with the game actually as some of my players like to mock me that i got mad that they wanted to open the tavern that is absolutely not true i just got a little flustered when they didn't touch on any other part of my story also if you are wondering that tavern is basically now a money laundering scheme so that they don't get caught for stealing the half million gold but what are you gonna do anyway if you enjoyed this video you know the drill every youtuber asks you to do it and i'm not going to because i'm lazy but i hope that y'all enjoyed that video if you would like to follow me on any of my socials links are going to be in the description down below but yeah i hope that y'all have a fantastic day and as always peace out guys